So, for a while now, I've been wanting to do a series of videos called Stories with JR. This is about as good a time as any to start. I'm sitting outside right now, the rest of the family's napping in the camper. And um, we had the lake viewing units. I cooked some awesome hot dogs. I mean, awesome. Wrapped in bacon, some Nathan's dogs wrapped in bacon. Put them on some fancy broage buns. It's probably not how you pronounce that, but y'all know I don't know pronoun my, my, my pronunciation ain't that great to start off with. So, put them on that, and I made a rotel cheese dip to put on top of that bacon wrapped cheddar Nathan hot dog. Bruh, let me tell you, his eye. <laughs> So, anyway, I was talking with my neighbor earlier today with the camper next to us bullshit. And he's talking about where everybody's from and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm from Opelousas, you know. But I had to say, I said, you know, the name Wheeler ain't a common name in the Cajun country. I had to say, you know, something that some people, some of y'all know this because y'all know me. Some of y'all don't. But... A lot of people don't know. I'm half Cajun. I'm half Yankee. I don't talk about me being half Yankee that often, but I am. I am. The Wheeler part of my name comes from South Dakota. That's where my dad is from. Now, my mom, she a Gotro from Opelousas. I was born and raised in Opelousas. I left, you know, from 98 to 02 to go to the Marines and then I went to California in 03 when I got recalled and I come back I went right back to the Opelousas been to Opelousas ever since you know I, I travel all over the world for work but my roots and where I'm from and where I live is Opelousas and good or bad we got our there's some bad too you know I, I'm not gonna act like where I'm coming from is perfect it's, it's got us problems but I stick with it it's where I'm from it's where my people's from anyway the story that I was going to tell goes back to when I was in the Marines. For some of y'all that don't know, I was in the Marines. Most of y'all already know that. Because I, I got some videos on here already about that and other things. But the story I'm going to tell is, y'all know I don't talk so good sometimes. And I, I sometimes some things slip out that are Yankee-ish. But there's a lot of times some things that slip out that's real cool ashes. And this is one of those times where something slipped out that was real cool ashes. I was in the Marines, you know, hanging out with some of my buddies from 2nd Platoon, Kilo Comedy. Hoorah! <laughs> That's for y'all, brothers. Anyway, I uh, I was talking about crawfish balls. Y'all know, we like to do a crawfish ball. And one of my buddies looked at me when I said that. He's like, a ball? I was like, yeah, crawfish ball. So it's a ball? I said, yeah, it's a ball. He's like... So there's music? I said, yeah, most of the time somebody got some music playing. Might be K-Bone, might be whatever, but they got music playing, yeah. It's like, man, man, people dress up. I said, no, no, usually you want to wear some some clothes you don't mind getting dirty, you know, eating crawfish. He's like, I can tell he kept looking at me like, what, what? It's like, so, so people dance? I said, man, yeah, yeah, usually people are dancing at the crawfish ball. Hey, you know, music's playing, people's dancing, yeah, yeah, usually. And then, luckily, my buddy from Mississippi, Dan, kicked in, and he, because, you know, Mississippi, they kind of like the, the buffer for us when it comes to the language. He goes, man, that dumbass is talking about a boil. <laughs> and everybody's like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, they boil crawfish. <laughs> and I was like, everybody kind of looked at me, I was like, but yeah, crawfish ball. <laughs> so... Story time with JR. There's a very funny, awesome story. Crawfish ball. <laughs> and I know everybody I know talks and says the same thing. It's a crawfish ball. But they thought it was like a ball, like you dancing at the naval ball or like the prom, like it's a ball. So that's where language comes in sometimes, y'all. Happy Saturday. <laughs>